Hi everyone. Well, it has been two weeks since I removed, and yes, that is one of the babies. Uh, but I will talk that in a, in a moment. So it has been two weeks uh, since I removed uh, all the adults from this tank, and uh, as you can see. Uh, this tank uh, for a few weeks had uh, the adults and a lot of babies but not juveniles so after removing the, the adults all the babies that were there and all the babies that hatched on the well not all but many of the babies that hatch in the last two weeks grew up as you can see, uh, there is a good deal of juveniles now. So there is no doubt in my mind that for the case that you have a tank with many adults and a lot of babies for weeks or months and no juveniles show up, one approach to make the babies grow up is to move the adults out for a time and because this is the second time I do this experiment although it had not been so drastic like uh, the first time that uh, most of the baby grew at the same time this is not unheard of that you start a tank and although I not started, uh, there were essentially babies and eggs when I removed all the adults. And you often get that single individual that grows way more than everyone else. And I have seen it happen multiple times and it's normal. Why it happens? Don't ask me, I have no idea. But I feel uh, confident now to say that if someone has an order tank with many adults and many babies and for weeks and uh, or even months no juveniles, just get another container, move the, the adults out for a while and just should start seeing juveniles again. So let me see if I can move this. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. So here are all the dots. Uh, we. Uh, no, not good. Yeah. Anyhow. And the uh, working light. I don't know if it shows in the video. Oh, yeah, I still have the the foaming problem. Uh, let me remove because right now I need to look through the phone. Okay, you have removed the the stone before the video, but I'm not remaking the video. Although the, this is consuming time. Well, essentially, what I'm doing is uh, uh, what I touch. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, come on, stay stable. Okay, don't fall. Okay, anyhow. As I was saying, uh, I'm doing, I think it's what is named the function of a protein skimmer. Essentially, I'm removing way slower than a protein skimmer, what causes the protein. So I need to work on that. I hope that diluting without killing the sea monkeys. We happy with that, but that is 
for another time. Also, with the same uh, coin diluting, as you can see, this water, this is the water that, ha that was from three tanks that were one year older. As you can see, have a very orange deep color. So I hope the diluting will clear that up. Okay, so what I wanted to do originally, I don't know if we did show up in the on focus okay let me go yeah. anyhow I me mean, what I try to this to focus there we go uh, what happened is when I move all the adults uh, like in the second day of course more babies were showing up because there are so many with X so what I will do when at last I move the adults out back to the large uh, tank, I will leave the babies here since we have seen the effect. So I will let you, the, them to grow up here. And before they start dropping eggs, then I will move them uh, to this tank and then I will empty this tank. Uh, and then I have this tank. Uh, let me see. Don't fall. Okay. Okay, this tank two weeks ago. Uh, this tank is at this point 14 weeks uh, old. Two weeks ago, there were a lot of babies, but it has a similar situation that we have mentioned. Uh, they reach a point that uh, there are a lot of adults, you see a burst of babies, uh, and then either you continue seeing babies for a long time or no babies at all and uh, no juveniles. So let me think. I think since two weeks ago, maybe. Ah, uh, there you were. One? No. False alarm. Uh, anyhow, at this point, I cannot see any. So, what I'm hoping is that uh, I, in the next burst of babies, uh, what I will do, because these are uh, all first generation uh, sea monkeys, I will move all the dots out to the bigger tank. And because I will be moving them individually and because they are far fewer when I move the dots from the bigger tank, I will count them and I can give a rough estimates of how many adults uh, could be uh, per unit of liquid because this is Right now, 16 ounces, around 470 milliliters. I take the number of adults that I move and I take the volume, the number of, uh, of adults that I move by the volume of, of liquid and I will get uh, how many, at least, uh, oh, well, there is one baby here. Anyhow, there was a burst and that's as big as I had gotten in two weeks. Either more babies like that appear or disappear and no juveniles. Meanwhile, in the other tank with no adults, all the juice or the juveniles. So anyhow, uh, I will be able to get, uh, let's say, uh, sea monkeys uh, per x ounces or x milliliters looks to be too much uh, that could cause the situation that you get babies but they will not grow up okay uh, uh, let me see what else yeah, no, no, not much uh, to report uh, so uh, sorry about that uh, Okay, so with this, I feel confident that removing the adults 
Uh, from the tank, uh, command take root. Okay, good enough. Operating plus two. But you can see more details. Okay, so removing the dots from the tank that you are having problems. Front apparent. Oh, forgot to mention that on the second night. Uh, a lot of uh, I could see a lot of eggs floating with the little uh, babies uh, getting out. Uh, that they look like a, a two uh, the diagram of two molecules together. And uh, the next day I counted around fifteen of the very bright drop like uh, shape vibrating around so that could be also a factor of uh, hibernating eggs hatching after you remove the the adults so in any instance after removing the adults two weeks afterwards this is the result we got that humongous single uh, sea monkey, I believe it's a female, and the other juveniles that are around. That if it goes with like the other tanks, eventually uh, most of them uh, will reach adulthood. Uh, where to go here? I still need to. Uh, the, as you can see, this color of water, I want to make it clearer. Also, I still having the foaming problem that I want to solve it. And uh, uh, what I will most likely do is that since I see how, how it is, it will happen eventually the situation that too many adults will not allow babies to grow up. Uh, I simply will put everything in this tank and uh, when the population declines because of age then I can remove the those at the point because I presume there will be a lot of babies just hanging around and repeat the process. So yep that's I think that's all I wanted to say this one. Uh, the other things that I'm working on, but uh, not sure when they will be completed, so don't know when will be the next video. But anyhow, stay safe, stay healthy, and enjoy the change of season, and uh, see you guys the next time.